up guys welcome to your 11th tutorial in JavaScript today I'm gonna to be teaching you guys how to write a function in JavaScript now what a function is is a certain block of code that you can reuse as many times as you want it's just a symbol for a bunch of code and it saves you from typing the whole entire code or script again and the syntax for function is function now after you write the word function press a space and write the name of your function you can name this you can call your function whatever you want I'm gonna call mine say hi and then you write two empty parameters you can either we'll be learning what you can put in here for now but for basic function you can just leave that empty now on the next line you write your curly braces now inside your curly braces you write whatever you want your function to do in my function I'm just gonna want to alert um, we'll just have it say hey now brown cow so anytime we use this function all it's gonna do is spit out the words hey now brown cow so let's go down here and let's use our function and how you call your function or use it is you simply type in whatever this is right here whatever the name of your function is that's how you call it so now right here we just had a function and we says anytime we type the word say hi then we want you to do this alert hey now brown cow and then it says alright we told you what the function is so let's save that and refresh and as you can see it says hey now brown cow and this is pretty simple but sometimes when you have a long function in here like you don't just have one alert box but you have a whole bunch of code with like 10 or 20 lines it's a lot easier instead of typing the whole code again all you have to do is output one word and it executes the whole code for you so say you're typing along and you had another alert like are you still watching this let me move my box and then anytime you want to call your function again you can just call your function later in the process notice that it does not have to be directly anytime exactly after you name your function you can use it exactly after or you can have a bunch of code in between and use it 200 lines down if you want so now we have a function called once a simple alert box then we're gonna call or use the function again so let's save this and take a look at what it looks like first it called our function hey now brown cow press ok gives our alert box are you still watching this press ok and it moves on to the oh that's why it didn't work because I put say instead of say hi so let's save that now sh it'll work this time hey now brown cow press ok it moves on are you still watching this now I press ok and it gives us our last function so make sure you didn't do what I did and name it right because uh, that was pretty embarrassing actually so now that you guys learn how to do a function and learn how not to mess up on your names study this and study your function and in the next tutorial I'm going to be teaching you how to do something else pretty cool with your functions thanks